we try to get our clients to really be empowered when they're in social situations, because that is oftentimes a source of contention when they are trying to establish new habits is it's really the way that you speak about it too. So rather than when you're at a party or something and like, you're trying to like clean up your food and eat better things. And you're, you're like, I don't really want to eat these Ruffles potato chips because they're there. This is not worth it to me rather than saying like, I can't have that. Right. The way that you talk about foods is just, you choose not to. And it's not because you can't, you can, and then you can decide what you want to do after that. But when you can take yourself away from that, again, all or nothing sort of approach, even how you speak about it, it is incredibly impactful. So when is this shit helpful? When is it helpful for you to go all in and be all or nothing? So there are some positive aspects to it. There are a lot of women that we've seen over the years that come in and we see it a lot with the goddess body project where we often have to poke at people to start something rather than just like, Hey, we have this like personal training studio and we do cool shit here. You should come like hang out with us. People like a start and an end date. It is just the psychology of us as humans and even myself too. You know, I like to have a goal and unless something really pulls you a lot of times you're just like, yeah, I'm going to start that new gym. I'm going to do that thing. So it can serve as a great way to get you out of doing dumb shit, for lack of better words, because a lot of times you need that to like shake you up, to shake up your entire environment. Now, I'm going to tell you that a lot of times we see women come from that scenario and they absolutely fail. In fact, the last round that we did, and I used to take it really personal. I used to be like, huh, I wanted a hundred percent success rate. Like anything, there's my all or nothing thinking, right? Anything less than every single client that went through the program for me for a lot of years was a failure, right? If we can't get them through, I was like trying to save all of the stray cats, right? I want them all drinking my purple Kool-Aid so they can grow old with me, right? And I can have a bunch of fit friends, But what happens is we usually have a handful of unicorns where that situation will actually work, where they've gone like to one extreme and doing nothing and neglecting themselves into something like the goddess body project. And then they shift habits. And then this is just now how they live. It is very challenging. So with that, we want you to take the pressure off yourself when you do sign up for something like that. And don't feel like it's a failure because you're, oh, I'm doing this program. When you can tell yourself, okay, I'm not going to set myself up for failure and thinking that I'm going to lose some audacious amount of weight or overhaul my entire life completely. I'm going to find Goldilocks and I'm going to ask her what she would do. So here I am, the curly headed Goldilocks to tell you that, It can give you that inertia to get started, but don't let it pull you down when you don't meet your unrealistic expectations if they are unrealistic for your goals. So that piece of it is super important for you to understand because a lot of times if you have other goals that are not health and fitness related, this can also apply, but you also don't want to set yourself up for, again, this expectation that's not realistic. So with that, we get it. Like the motivation doesn't last forever. I mean, we bust our asses in the program to try to bring you guys things like these types of workshops and, you know, like engaging with the community and trying to find little buddies in the program because life is busy and you likely don't have like-minded people in your tribe or your your environment or your family that can keep you motivated and accountable. And you need to stick to those people that are even us, right? Even us who, who are fitness pros at this shit. Like I have to surround myself with people who also feel that it's important to stay healthy and be active and live a lifestyle that feels balanced, some fun and some tomfoolery mixed into one, but I can't be all in hardcore bodybuilder anymore. That's just not where I'm at. And I can't be a total shit show party girl. People think like I'm living on the strip in Vegas. I have not even been on the strip this week at all, you know, so you've got to find that spot. So this is when sometimes 
something drastic ends up tipping the domino. It wakes you up to a bunch of stuff, shakes it up, and then you're, you're on it. 